from Daily Forex. This is Chris taking a look at gold and the South African Rand. And as you can see, the gold markets have gone back and forth during the trading session here on Monday. And uh, at this point, it's it's obvious we're just kind of stuck. But I do have a couple of levels to pay attention to. 1750 being broken to the downside could um, really get uh, this market dropping, perhaps down to this double bottom. Now, that is at basically 1680, and if that gives way, 1500 is very possible. If we break above the top of the 200-day EMA, I would look for a fill of the gap. After that, 1900, and then it's a bigger move. So right now, I guess the takeaway is we're in this little range. Once we break it, we should get a more significant move. South African Rand, or the dollar against the Rand, I guess I should say. It's much more interesting. It's a bullish flag in a bearish trend. So it measures for a move to about 1525 for what that's worth. That suggests to me that we're going to rally and try to test this 200-day EMA. If we can get significantly above it, we could go higher. For what it's worth, a lot of other commodity currencies, the Australian dollar, the Canadian dollar, suddenly are struggling with the greenback. So the question then will become, is this a correction or is it the start of something bigger? A lot of questions out there about the global economy in general. So I think you need to keep an eye on this one. If we break down below the 50-day EMA, ostensibly the bottom of the Monday can or the Friday candlestick, that could open up a move back down to the lows. And that actually, quite frankly, is the easier trade to take. It's, it's with the overall trend. 1450 could cause some resistance, 200-day as well, 1500 or excuse me, 15 also. Um, but if we break all of that, then I think the trends change and we go much higher. And the great thing about that is this is a pair that does tend to trend for long periods of time.